Well, now federal agents are assisting San Jose police officers as they comb now through Sam Cassidy's home for any evidence that may help investigators determine the killer's motive. Crown Force Will Tran is live on the scene. He's been there since yesterday. So, Will, what are you learning today? Well, right now, more police officers are heading to the scene, so they have about uh, two or three extra cars. You can see there's one squad car right in front. There is another one down the roadway. Hard to see from this vantage point. They have pretty much laid down the cones here on the other side of the street. So that's pretty much, as you can see, Reyna, I bet you anything that is to preserve parking space because as the day goes on, we will see more police officers come to the scene, investigators. We've already talked about how the ATF and FBI, they're assisting with the investigation. So this neighborhood, this particular block on Angmar will be locked down for quite some time because with his suicide, it's going to be what they find inside the house, the evidence that will speak for him because right now they don't have a motive. Now, let me draw your attention to the screen. Here's video that we got from across the street. This is from a neighbor's home and his surveillance camera is trained to the other side of the street. This is a little bit less than an hour before the mass shooting. You can see in the video, Sam Cassidy casually walking outside of his house. He is wearing his employee gear. It looks like he's heading to work. He has a black duffel bag next to him. He loads it into his pickup truck. Presumably, those are the weapons inside the duffel bag. But right now, investigators are not saying what they recovered in that duffel bag. But the bottom line is he was calm, methodical as he was heading to his car and then he drove to work. Shots rang out a little bit less than an hour from that place. Let me show you this video. So right after shots rang out, people called 911. This is at 634. A few minutes after that, his home catches on fire. So that is presumably saying to investigators that this was orchestrated, that all of a sudden his home catches on fire. The fire department, they come out here, they put out the fire, and thankfully they did because they turned this area into a crime scene. They are preserving his house exactly as, as it was, as best as they can, when he left the house so they can go through his computers and everything else inside of the home. We also got a chance to talk to his neighbors who have known him for decades. They say he was quite unusual. He doesn't say anything. He's kind of quiet. And then, you know, I was scared of But after that, I ignore him. He's living alone. I never see his friends. I never see his families. I never see anybody coming with, you know, his house. He's a live alone probably 20 years. Let me give you a location of my place right now. I'm on just pretty much off of Capitol Expressway, which is a major thoroughfare. Cassidy lived at 1178 Angmar. So from this location, it takes him about nine miles to get to the VTA rail yard at that particular hour. It shouldn't take him more than probably 10 to 15 minutes to get to work. So it's not very far. And then according to investigators, Presumably about 2,000 people maximum work at the VTA yard at any given time. So he went out there, according to investigators, that's when shots rang out. They say this is a big crime scene. So not only this is a crime scene, VTA is a crime scene. That's under lockdown as well. They are going to go through that for the next several days. But the big answer is, the big question is, Reyna, and it may never be answered. Why did he do this? Did he choose these targets in particular or were they randomly shot? So lots of questions, which is why, unfortunately, for the neighbors here, they were minding their own business, living their lives, but they too are caught up in this crime scene. Back to you. Thank you for that report, Will. We're going to continue to check in with Will throughout the morning. Now, a few blocks.